I just brought you evidence with volume, with page number, from the Senate that shows that all of the earlier Prophet Sharia was called Mazar. You said that the Quran is not supposed to give these details and these explanations, okay, but you need to go outside the Quran to tell you what Messiah means from Ibn Abbas, from Al Tabari, who's quoting this person, who's quoting this person, who's quoting this person, and there it is, uh, uh, evidence based argument, right? First of hey, all, Avery. how you doing, bro? How's life? Everything it's good? good, man. Traffic was tough. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So, part two, man. Part two. All right. So, first thing you asked me about was on Masih. Yes. You want to get to that first? Yes. Yeah, so, do you remember what I asked you? Ask again. Go ahead. Okay. So, I, my question was, because you said that uh, that other prophets are called Messiah. Sure. So, I asked you, is there anywhere in the Quran or the Hadith? Yes where anybody else other than Jesus is called the Messiah. Yes. And you said yes. Yes. So, what is that? This is from the Musannaf of Ibn Abi Shayba. You know what that is? I've, no, what is that? It's a book of Hadith. By who? Ibn Abi Shayba. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. in the name. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go ahead and read it. Oh, you look nervous, bro. Relax, man. No, no. Relax. You look, you look nervous, actually. Do I look nervous? You look oh, nervous. Right now. Yeah, we're going right. to have fun with so, this. This is going to be fun. In the Musannaf of Ibn Abi Shayba, volume number 6, page number 479, this is the Hadith Sanadan, with the Sanad, with the chain that reports about Ta'adir. You know what Ta'adir is? No. Is the punishments that were handed out. Okay. So here is the entire Sanad. Hadathna Abu Bakr, Hadathna Al Waqiyah, Al Mubarak, Al Hassan, Al Amr. You understand the chain, right? Sure. The chain of narrators. So the, it's not sure, just yeah, can you. Yeah, I got you. So it's a chain of narration. So where where is he called? Where is somebody called the Messiah? What تخليص هذا الضرب والتعذير هذا بيننا من شريعة مصاحة. 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 You know مصاحة is? What is that? Is the plural for Messiah. مصاحة. All right. So what does that say? So it says that this punishment, where about different crimes and things, has been handed down to us from the laws of all of the Messiah, which is all of the Ambiya. All of the prophets are called Masah. Here, Musannaf Ibn Abi Shayba, mm -hmm. volume number six, page number four seventy nine. Your trick destroyed. Oh, it's not destroyed. destroyed. Well, so destroyed. Let, let's let's go ahead and no, 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 let's no, go ahead no, and deal with no, this. No, 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 no. You read it. Finished. You read it. Done. You read it. You, you're doing I, it for I, the I'm camera. Said, well, you did no, it for I'm the not, camera. Not, That's fine. I didn't do this for the camera. But let's let's actually I examine it. You want to do this off camera? We can do it off camera. No, we're we're on camera. I can't trust the conversation off the camera. I don't need. I can't trust the conversation off the camera. All right. All right. So let's let's examine this. So you said Masah. Uh -huh. Right? Is plural. Ma go ahead. Me, seen, ha, alif, mm -hmm. hamza. Very good. So you said that that's the plural of messiahs? Of, of messiah. Yes. So, so it says that this came down from all the, the previous messiahs. Laws of all of the messiahs. Okay. So, okay. So, can you tell me who this person is, first of all? This is Umar ibn Khattab mm -hmm. reporting Khattab? the hadith. Okay. Um, Khattab. Omar? It's by Omar? Okay. So, it, 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 what, what book ahead. is this from? <laughs> no, you, you can laugh all you want. What, okay. what you did was you said you're gonna bring me a book and you brought me some paper. I'm giving you the reference. It's a nice. 27 volume book. That's fine. Musannaf mm -hmm. Ibn Abi Shayba, mm -hmm. volume number six, uh -huh. page number 479. Okay, very good. So, so now, now you understand the book it's from. No problem, no problem. All right, so here's, I gave you the book and then you asked me yeah, again. No, I, I'll, I'll go research the book instead of a paper. That's fine. I got so, you. So here's I my, can bring you the book too. I got that, a That's library. what you said you was going to bring. Right, no problem. Come back next Sunday. We'll bring you some books. Okay. We'll bring you some books. Okay. We'll bring you some books. Okay. Look, but it's a 27 volume book. You said you was going to bring the book. If I give you the reference, from the volume and page number, that is letting you know where it's at. Oh, that's fine. I, I, no problem. That's, that's fine. Go home and look so, it up. So, I, I will. So, let, so, so let's, let's talk about... Now destroyed no, it, it's of not. saying nobody else was called the Messiah. It's destroyed. No, no, no it, it's, not, it's not destroyed. Your whole point no. was, nowhere in the Quran and Hadith is anybody else called Messiah. Yeah. And I just brought you uh, evidence with volume, uh, with page number, uh, with the Sanad that shows that all of the earlier Prophet Sharia was called Messiah. Okay. So, so now, 
That mm -hmm. is done. I have it's, it's, you know, it's, you. it's not done. We got to actually deal with this, actually. No, 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 hold on, Uthman. No, Uthman. No, if you got to go, then we can hold this off. But all you want to do is do show me for the camera. No, you did not. I. That was your question. No, we're not done. No, no, you know, you gave your speech. Hold on. So now I got to give mine. I asked him again. Hello. Hold on. No, you're being rude, Uthman. No, I did let you speak. No, Uthman, you're not letting me speak. Hold on. Hold on. Uthman, you're not letting me speak. I, I have to again. No, I have to respond. I have to respond. And I, I have to respond. Question. Go ahead. Let me respond now. I'll even let you respond. Thank you. No, it's, it's not about. It's a conversation, is this not? Go ahead. No, so before before we go, mm -hmm. let's let's create a foundation. Gotcha. Is this going to be a discussion or is this going to be show me? It's stuff? going to be a discussion. You're going to ask question. I'm going to ask question. Very good. You're going to give answers. So the topic I'm is a, can I very good. You interrupt me. I didn't no, finish. no, you, you answered it. Let me you answered it. It's going to be a discussion. Okay. When you ask a question, then let me finish what I'm saying before mm -hmm. you move forward. All right, we're going to do All the right? same thing? Yeah. Okay, very good. We no, agree. You go ahead. We agree. I'm going to listen. We agree? We agree. All right, good. Now you speak. All right, so here's my question to you now. Mm -hmm. Because you also said that, the, that somebody else in the Quran is called I Messiah. I did not say that. That is what you said. Okay, hold on. Because you also said it in hold your on. video. Hold on. Time I wasn't done. Okay, go ahead. I'll, let, I'll let you get your piece. I promise. I'm, I'm very polite. You know I'm patient. You said in your video that you're going to quote the Quran, but then you quoted uh, Al-Tabari, the commentator, right? I'm going to let you finish first. So you said in the video, because I asked you about them being called the Messiah in the Quran and the Hadith, you said yes. So you brought me this, this reference here that refers to Messiahs in the plural in the Hadith. Fine. I have no argument against that. I'll check it out. Good. That's fair. So my question is, is there anybody identified as a Messiah specifically? That's my question to you in the Quran or the Hadith. Are you done speaking? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now let me, as I stayed quiet and let you speak, you let of me Of course, speak. that's what we agreed to. Thank you. So you asked me, and the, now you're trying to twist the words in my mouth, twist. but I'm really twist. glad. Twist. Interesting. See, again, now you're speaking. I'm speaking. No, right? I can talk. It's on video, right? Yeah, it's on video. So, Alhamdulillah. So, you said in the Quran or Hadith. I said, mm -hmm. I will look it up in the Quran and Hadith. And I told you I believe there are others called Messiah in the Quran Hadith. I told you it's a reference to prophets, mm -hmm. those that are chosen, those that are truthful, those that are guide, those that are sent. And you were, I gave you all those meanings. Now, from the Quran, I gave you the word Masih's explanation from Hadith. Tabari is an explanation that gives explanation from Hadith. Tabari does not give opinion, not Rai based. I gave the in the video, I gave the chain. These are hadith, they're from Sahaba, some of them, Waqufan, some from the Tabi'in, but these are hadith, these are called hadith, they're checked as hadith. Mm. But mm. here I even gave you from the Musanaf ibn Abi Shayba. So I did not say only Quran. We both agreed Quran and hadith. Yeah, yeah, I said Quran and hadith. Uh -huh. So when I give you from Tabari, those are all hadith based explanations of the Quran. Where a hadith with the chain explains the Quran. Very here, good. Here, I've given you, and you can go home, look it up. In the Musanaf ibn Shayba, now the Anbiya, the Prophets are called Musa. Very good. If you mm. want to know about mm. the concept of what is the Masih, this is also something I brought from the books of Tafsir. But you wanted a reference of Quran or Hadith, I brought it to you. No problem. Now, yeah. it's my time. No, it's, it's not. We're on the subject. He won't. He, won't. No. he knows. No, yeah. no, no, we're on the subject. Hey, Maz, you ran from me, so please yeah, stop it. running from nowhere. No, so, so I'm talking, you told, me, you, you told me I'm holding for the shake, so let's hold for the shake. So let me respond now. Go ahead. Because we're not going to, we're not going to change You'll the subject talk about the Bible. right answer, answer. we're not going to change the subject so this is from last week too we're on the subject yeah, yeah, yeah. so here. so here's so here's my here's my question and response to you um in regards to so this reference that you brought up sure it said that this was passed down from the messiahs plural Sharia. Sharia. The, the law is passed down from the messiahs Messiahs, yes. Messiahs, okay. Yes. So in that reference, did it ref is it did it explicitly refer to the prophets? Like it did it, it did it put it together? That's so my question. This is the question where it says the Sharia ah is revealed to who? I don't. You don't know. No, you gotta tell me what the source says. What, is, what does it say? So, so this is, uh, it said the Messiahs. Let me let me explain it, something to you. Hmm? I explained this last week, but you were too busy trying to argue from listening, right? There is Rasul gets a risala, right? When there is a law revealed, it is revealed to who? Prophets. Laws are not revealed to other than prophets. 
You understand that, right? So uh, the Sharia is the is, is, is the law. equivalent with a uh, message? It is. The okay. Sharia is a part of the wahi, part of the message. Okay. So when you say this is from the Sharia, this is from the laws that were revealed to the Masah, that means those prophets that received wahi are those that were being referred here. Because nobody gets a Sharia except prophets. Okay. So okay. every so every law in Islam comes from directly the prophet. Every prophets, law. yes. Okay, gotcha. Meaning meaning in our time, mm. for example, if you want to know about Islamic law, yeah. we go back to the Quran yeah. and Sahih Ahadith, yeah. all based on that when you have qiyas for new issues. Right? Yeah. Yeah. But the law will be from Wahi. Yes. Yeah, okay. No problem. And there were laws, obviously, as you know, sent to the earlier prophets. Yep. All right, no problem. So, so capital, cap clear. capitalizing on this. So th this is good. Look, okay, we're, just you, we're, ju we're just we're just talking. Run, right? We're I'm running from our yeah. topic. No, no, no. No, you no, want you want to run. I answered your question. No, you did not. Your yeah, we're not was done. Where in the Quran and Hadith? Uh -huh. and I gave uh, you the so, answer. So are you going to talk now? over me now? No, I'm not. So no, you, not. what let do we agree with? No, I did. Did I not just sit here and let you speak? Thank you. This is a conversation. So our topic is the Messiah. It's Resurrection Day. We're talking about the Messiah. We're talking about what we asked the sources you brought, and we're examining the arguments. That's what we're doing. I mean, so, can I say something? No, oh, like, you got. Something? You just said something. I waited two minutes. I waited. Can, can, can you see me, you. the camera? Yeah, two? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, show, I'm, show me the I'm just making sure. So, you about the views? Here, so, <laughs> all right, very good. So here's my. So let's get into the nitty gritty, because you're saying that the the multiple messiahs brought down the um, the revelation, yes. the, the Sharia, yes, the law. So. It doesn't, it, it equates everybody that received their Sharia as messiahs, yes. right? Very good. Now, if we're saying that Messiah means chosen one and anointed one, my question also was, last week, is why is Jesus the only one that's identified as the Messiah, not just a Messiah, but he's called al Masi. That's my question to you right now. So the first mistake you're making is, is the Marifa, right? Here, again, you also have al Marifa. Al, right? So it's not like this is this is Nakira. This is also Marifa, right? The Messiahs, meaning each one of them is gonna take that title with Marifa. You understand what Marifa is? What is that? <laughs> so when you're saying Al, what is Al? The. Yeah, well, what does that <laughs> what does that denote in Arabic? It's talking about a specific Marifa, person, right? Or when group you know or subject. It's being so this also rings the Al here, right? So don't think this is anything different. Now, prophets have different laqab different titles given, right? Like Ibrahim alayhi salam, and I explained this to you last week, was called Khalilullah, right? Yeah. But the Prophet Muhammad alayhi salam also Khalilullah. Uh -huh. But when you look in the Quran, you look at the, the different prophets who are given different titles. Yeah. Like in Hadith, for example, the Prophet Muhammad alayhi salam is called Kalimullah, uh -huh. the one who spoke with Allah, right? So that doesn't mean other prophets didn't speak with Allah. Mm -hmm. Here, the Masih Isa ibn Maryam has been given this title in the Quran. What is the meaning of that title from Hadith, mm. from At-Tabari, from Wasu al Ma'atur? I explained already. The meaning of that is for that they mm. were the chosen Nabi, mm. right? Now, from that, we can show that all of the Anbiya were also called Messiahs. Al, with Ma'rifah. So that point that you were making is dead now because I've it's proven not. it from Hadith. Now, the, the thing is, your question, and it's on video, last week and this week, was show me from the Quran or Hadith, somebody other than Isa salam, being referenced as Messiah. I brought you a as clear reference, right? Masih, Masuh, because we said this is for the Anbiya. It's not just for one prophet, it's for the, all of them. I brought that reference. Now, as I'm speaking, we're not just here for your debate, right? We we last week had a discussion about the, the issue of, of Jesus knowing or not knowing. Right? That's fine, but we're not no, we're not no, changing no, the we subject. Are, no, I we're not. We're not question. done about the subject. Now, what I, now I'm, no, no, I'm speaking. It's, no, no I'm you speaking finished. Now. No, I'm not finished. Okay, Don't tell you, me when I'm finished. Okay, so I'll so so Uthman, what you're doing is changing the subject. Let me explain it. We're talking about the Messiah. Let me speak. You're speaking over me. No, you're you're going on. You already made like three points. I was speaking and you're interrupting. Okay, you can bring this up. We're going back to the Messiah. When you were speaking, I didn't interrupt you. But when I was speaking, you're interrupting. No, that, that was not, it's stop. On video. No, you it's interrupted on video. me. You interrupted me too. It's on video. So, so are you going to talk now? over me now? No, I'm not. So I'm you, not. what let did me, we agree with? Speak. No, I did. Did I not just you sit here and let you, you speak? speak? Thank you. I stayed quiet and said I'll let you finish. Now, the, the issue here is your question is answered. Now, what you're trying to do 
is trying to keep hopping back and forth on that because you know that the book you recommended. Yeah. Yeah. Now this book, and I think you said it was a good book too, right? Right, Khan? Mm -hmm. He said it was a good book too, right? Uh, I said John MacArthur is a good author. A uh, good author, right? Yeah. This author. Well, you look sad, man. Smile. I'm listening. Right. You can do all the show, <laughs> all right. man. It doesn't yeah. matter. Well, you got, you, 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 right. Yeah, you got. You got to have a discussion, this, Uthman. This, this book, the MacArthur Study Bible, is one that Avery recommended to me. Upon his recommendation, I went out and bought this book. Right. Now, under the verse where he's on video, so he's not going to jump from this now. Right. Where he said that Jesus did know. He just didn't declare it. He had the knowledge. It's not. He wasn't speaking out of not knowing. He had the knowledge, but like the Jewish wedding, where it's the Father's right to declare. So Jesus knew it. He just didn't declare, which to me didn't make sense at the time, because if he knew and said, I don't know, that would be a lie. And I don't believe prophets lie. But that's just my understanding. But his point was, Jesus did know. In the McCarthy Study Bible, that you recommended and you recommended. What does it mention? Like now you're now you're jumping in the middle, right? I'm sorry. That's yeah, all right. Yeah, it just brought that, that, that's okay. Let, let, let him let him finish his monologue and his show. Nor the son, okay. when it says in the verse in Mark 13:32, as you well know, that but of the day and hour no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the son, but only the Father. McCarthy Study Bible says. When Jesus spoke these words to his disciple, you guys paying attention? When Jesus spoke these words to his disciple, even he had no knowledge of the date and time of his return. I'm going to read that one more time. All right? When Jesus spoke these words, what happened to the smile? No, I'm always then smiling. These Luma. words. Just waiting when for you Jesus to finish. spoke these words to his disciples, even he had no knowledge of the date and time of his return. All right. So did you finish your monologue now? It's not a monologue. It is a monologue. It's a discussion. No, it's not a discussion. It's a discussion. A dis you're when interrupting you speak, me now. You're you interrupting me now. You asked me a question. No, no. I, you're you done. So now you're interrupting me. But you just asked me a no, question. You quit the showmanship. No, no. You asked you, a question. No, you can so quit, the, you quit the showmanship. Monologue. Look, so you're done? You so asked a question. If you're done, let me go. You want, if you ask if a question, if you're, expect it, an answer. It's a done. If you're done, if let you me go. If you don't have a question, speak. Thank you so much. So now we've heard the monologue. He wants to run away from the messianic title. I'll it's a resu please. It's a resurrection day. We're gonna stick to the topic. I've already dealt with you on that subject. You can quote any commentator. I'm not like you. You can quote an interpretation if you want. I use verses in scripture. And you couldn't deal with the topic last time. You couldn't deal with the argument. And so this is hilarious to me that you have to do this. But that's fine. I showed you the verses. I explained it to you and I backed it up with scripture. And I backed it up with cultural context. You can take whatever you want. Take your own interpretation. That's fine. I'm talking to you now about the Messiah since we're not done. You brought up your sources and you don't want to examine it. Let's you don't do it. want to go deeper into the subject because you're afraid of the messianic title. You're afraid of the messianic conversation because your Quran doesn't tell you anything about it. Your Quran don't tell you nothing. So here's my question to you, because if you're talking about, OK, multiple people are referred to as messiahs, which you brought from this, little, this source right here. No problem. No problem at all. Here's my question to you. When it comes to Jesus and he's called al Masih. What was the purpose of him being called the Messiah? Excellent question. You want me to answer According it? to the Quran and Hadith. You want me to answer it? Mm -hmm. According to the Quran and Hadith, please. Yeah. When you ask a question, you have to understand how tafsir is made, how Quran is explained. Tafsir. Nope. Not the Quran, but the tafsir. Because you told me he was no, going to bring me to verses. You interrupted me too. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, no, it's the same. It's the this. same energy. You got to be consistent. You got to be consistent. So go ahead. I, I even hush my mouth. I yeah, yeah, go ahead. Quiet. I let you speak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You now you're interrupting. A little bit. You're interrupting both again. Go ahead. Go ahead. You're still interrupting. Go ahead. When you ask, what does the Quran mean with this word? Right? The Quran gives you the word. Mm -hmm. I gave you from a tabari, right? Which you saw from Athar. You know what Athar are? From Hadith, where you have the chain that is checked at the meaning of the word. If you ask, what is the meaning from hadith? You said, yeah, this is called a hadith. Mawkuf, marfu, Qudsi. If you don't know that, you should watch our playlist on what a hadith is. You, right? went, you went to commentary. Right? Go ahead. It's a hadith commentary. Yeah, okay? sure, no problem. So you asked from the Quran and hadith. Yeah. The Quran called Isa al-Masih. 
right? Uh -huh. What does it mean by Al Masih? For example, here from this is from Al Qurtabi, Tafsir Al Qurtabi. You know Tafsir Al Qurtabi? Yep. Okay. Here he brings the aqwal from Ibn Abbas. You know Ibn Abbas is? Yeah, the cousin. He's a, he's a companion of the Prophet. Yeah, his so cousin. When you have, when you have a hadith from the Sahabi, this is considered a hadith. Uh -huh. We call this a mawquf hadith. The chain and all that is checked. So he gives the meanings of what has come under the meaning of Masih. So he says, and it was said from it, "Innahu mamsuh bil baraka." He was blessed with baraka. Kanat la anbiya. This is what the prophets were called when they were chosen. If he was chosen and he was called Mamsuh, Masih, then you would know that he's a Nabi. Based on so what? If you, this is the statement of Ibn Abbas. Yeah, what is he basing that on? <laughs> His statement, it's a hadith, it's a mawkuf hadith no, of Ibn Abbas. Uthman, I understand that. My question, because okay. Uthman, so Ibn Abbas... So, so no, I give you Quran. No, no, let, me, no, let, let me finish. Yeah, go ahead. Done, right? Now, this is, if you want to go mm -hmm. to the linguistics of it, right? Mm -hmm. We have linguistics as, as well, right? This is from Al-Bahr al muhid another book of Tafsir, Al-Tabari, Mawsu Al-Athar, where it goes through it goes through the actual narrations from the Sahaba. And that's why I scanned them and put them on the video as well. If you want to say that why did the Quran not say Al-Masih also means this, 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 that's not the way the Quran is. The Quran gives you the hukam. Mm. We take from a hadith, we take from Sahaba, the explanation of the Quran then. And those are considered hadith. Mm. Your question, your question, is it in the Quran? I showed you the meaning of the word. Where? In the video, in, in the book, I just not in the you. Quran though. From the hadith that explains what from that the, word from the from the tafsir that exactly. quotes, so quotes people that quotes, this, that, word that quotes means, this person that quotes this person. If you want right. to know what the word means, then when a Sahabi explains it, that's a hujja. Mm. That's an evidence to explain what that word meant. Okay. Okay. It, it's like I'm not done. I'm not oh done. my goodness! You yeah, got yeah, five no, minutes. He just got like five minutes. You got to put a timer on me. But hold on, you got to let me get in. Let me finish. Okay, go ahead. I gave you from the. Athar, not just the tafsir, mm -hmm. like it was somebody's opinion, evidence-based tafsir, that Masih had the meaning of the one who has baraka, the one who's chosen, tafsir. it can be for all of the prophets, it can be being all of them. And then I gave you actual evidence, you kept saying nowhere in the Quran hadith, I gave you actual no, hadith you. with the sanad, with the volume, with the page number, with the book, all of that. Okay. Right? You ready? So now that you have those answers, on top of that, on top of that, if you want to look at the linguistics of it to understand the Arabic of it, I got you on that as well. May I respond? But you can may I finish, then you can respond. But you cannot tell me, oh no, it has to be that the Quran has to say Rasul means this, Nabi means this. Those words like Rasul and Nabi and Khalil, when they are used in Quran and Hadith, they don't come with a de definition dictionary. Mm -hmm. You look at the context, and when you have hadith that show that all of the Anbiya were called Masah, they were called Masih, all of them together with Al, with the Ma'rifah, then that means that Masih is an anointed, a chosen one, and that can be referred to any prophet. All right, very good. So, I want to go back to this Ibn Abbas claim, because this is a person who is a companion of the prophet, who's saying what the what Messiah means and things of these things of this nature. My question to you was, where did he get that from? Great question. When we look at the tafsir of somebody like Ibn Abbas, if you know who Ibn Abbas is, not only was he the cousin, he was the one that the Prophet ﷺ made dua for him to understand the understand the That's word. Let me finish. Let me finish. Don't interrupt. This is not my question. Don't interrupt. It is your question. Listen and you'll find the answer. I know who Ibn Abbas is. If you listen, you would get the answer. So if you ahead. keep interrupting, you're no, not going to no, get the I'm answer. I'm listening. You're just so not when, answering my question. You see this? You, you yeah. See this? Do, yeah, do we see you this? See this I asked a simple question. I'm trying to answer his question. He keeps interrupting. I'm not. I'm letting you go. I'm fasting. I have to get going to prepare for Yeah, so please answer. Get to the that's question. That's why he doesn't want to let me finish. No, nah, get to the to question. You got five minutes. Let four me, minutes probably. When I'm speaking, please don't speak. So my question is, where okay. did Ibn Abbas get this from? I am answering that right, exact ahead. question please. if you would listen. Please, go ahead. Open your ears. Close oh, your mouth. I'm listening. Yeah, I'm just not hearing the answer, so go ahead. Don't ask the question if you don't want the answer. No, you don't got to jump in. Listen to what's going on. Let me do. Yeah, go ahead. Look, Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi made dua for him. Oh Allah, give him the understanding of wahi. He says, I went over the Quran with the Prophet alayhi salatu uh -huh. And his student Mujahid and Atta, they went over every verse 
asking the meaning from who? From the Prophet ﷺ himself. Mm. So when you have a tafsir of somebody like Ibn Abbas, we give this to Marfu'an, that he took this knowledge from the Prophet ﷺ, even if he doesn't say Samiyatu Rasulullah ﷺ. This is called al mawkuf bi hukm al rafa Got you. So every understanding that Ibn Abbas says, you take it as he's getting it straight from the Prophet, whatever his understanding is. Okay, so there's three things you have to look at first. Huh? Well, you want to learn, then you got to learn. It's a simple question. It's a simple that's question. It. I'm giving you a simple answer. Thank you. But it's not I don't need the three things. But it's three things, if that's your question. So it was very, it was, it I'll, just, I'll, look, I'll just, look, I'll just summarize what things. you said. The first thing you have to look at is the authenticity of the chain. No problem. Let's, let's right? assume authentic, authentic, okay? The second thing you have to, like, if, if Ibn Abbas give different interpretations, then we have to look at context of where the ayah is. Very you good. Understand? Meaning at times, an ayah is revealed during war, and at times, an ayah is revealed during peace. Yes. Right? You have to look at that. Yes. Third thing you have to look at, whether the chain is connected to Ibn Abbas or if it's Mu'allakan. You know what Mu'allakan is? I don't, but I, I, let, let's assume that it's all three, that, that these are good. Yes. Then so, if he explains the Quran, mm -hmm. authentic uh, uh, tafsir, mm -hmm. then we think that he would take this knowledge from the Prophet Alayhi Sallallahu Alaihi Alright, no problem. So at, assuming that it's straight up authentic, okay. not, you know, confusion interpretations, okay. whatever Ibn Abbas said, is coming straight from Muhammad. In the seal of the Quran, were things that have to do with the ghayb, with the mm. unknown, yes. Thank you. Okay. Unless, but there is, I mean, there's depth to it. You're, you're trying to make it simple. No, 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 look. Sometimes, it's okay. Sometimes, it's okay. Ibn Abbas, for example, he reports something that he would not have been old enough to know. That's fine. So then we would assume that he learned that from another sahab. All right, got you. All right, so the things that Maha, uh, Ibn Abbas explains, gives his opinion on, gives his interpretation. Of the, of the unseen. Okay, on the other scene. Authentically. Uh, authentically, you're saying he, he got it, with. you assume, because of the prayer that Muhammad put on him, that he's getting it straight from Muhammad. Okay, okay, so that's an assumption that you have to make because you believe Muhammad being the prophet, prayed that this and this and this prayer is answered. Yeah. That's what you get this from. That's what you so, asked us But okay, very good. So, but when I read this and I see this statement being made, these blanket statements, random statements, I'm not seeing any, any quotation of a verse where he's backing it up, but it's just an understanding that Ibn Abbas has given of himself. So when I ask you from the Quran, what is the purpose of the Messiah when it comes to Jesus and the Hadith, where do you get that from? That's my question. So I'm going to give it to you one more time. And this is the last time I'm going to explain okay. this because I've explained it three times already. Okay? When you have an ayah from Quran, how do we understand the context? We look at first and foremost the hadith of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Quran itself, the hadith of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So when we see the hadith of Sahaba, for example, mentioning that Masih being with Al, reference to Anbiya generally, then we give that understanding from Hadith. From Hadith, we understand the ayah, mm. right? And if a Sahabi like Ibn Mas'ud or Ibn Abbas authentically with all the shuroot explains the Hadith, that is a hujjah for us, that is an evidence for us. No problem. If you don't take it as a hujjah, that's up to you. No problem. But you asked me as a Muslim, so I gave you the reference as a Muslim. Right. So. The, 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 the thing is, is that you're not giving an understanding from the Quran, but from commentary, from uh, men trying to give their interpretations and explaining explanations, but not from the Quran. You gave something from the Hadith that refers to people as Messiah's plural. But, but here's the thing. So would you agree that, uh, no, I'm going to just ask you this. When it comes to Jesus being the Messiah, because the Quran talks about how Jesus is the Messiah and the messenger, right? He says, Jesus, it says Jesus the Messiah, in chapter 4 verse 171 Jesus the Messiah was a messenger was a result right it says he's the Messiah then it says who is the messenger right so denoting that the Messiah is something distinct from just simply the messenger right so my question to you is is this why is there a distinction between Messiah and messenger when you're trying to say that all, all, it, all the Messiah is, is just a messenger. Why, do, why does it make the distinction there? I got you. I responded to this question in the last debate, but again, you didn't listen. I heard everything. When, when That's you, why I'm asking the same question. When you talk about a Nabi, a Nabi, and a Rasul, right? It does not mean they're two different things. But those are referencing to the different tasks given. For example, Very good. Tasks. When, you like are, when you are a Rasul, you are given a Risal. When you are Istafa, you are chosen. 
it doesn't mean those are different, right? But you are chosen, all prophets are chosen. And the task is And when the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he was given the Risala, he was a Rasul. Mm -hmm. As he was chosen a Nabi, he was a Nabi. He's also called Al Mustafa, mm -hmm. that he was the chosen, Istafa'an. Now, if you say, oh, how come there isn't a hadith that mentions Musa being called Mustafa? That's just your ignorance. Because the fact that he was chosen as a prophet shows that he was Nastafa, he was chosen. Now, to say that he was called Masih and Rasul means two different things is again ignorance because Al Masih, as I said, is from the Anbiya. It's a reference given to Anbiya. Anbiya are all prophets. Like right? Rasul is that he got an actual book or Risala, right? That is different from a Sharia that is given to other Anbiya. Can I ask you a quick question? Uh, let me that? finish first, right? So, for example, you have the Zabur, you have the Tawrat, you have the Injil, you have the Quran, yeah. you have the Suhuf. Yeah. These are given to Rusul. But those Rusul are also Anbiya, they're also prophets. So if they're called Nabi and Rasul, it doesn't mean they're two different things. Excellent. And when we see in the Excellent. Hadith that Masah, the al Masih, are given Sharia, mm -hmm. that means everybody given laws from the prophets okay. were also called Masih. No so for him to be called Rusul does not mean that he was given a different task. Okay, thank you. So, so the uh, Rasuls are Nebis, right? Yes. But the Rasuls, the distinction is that the Rasuls have a different task than the Nebis. Correct? No. Nope. Correct? No. Nope. Correct? No. Nope. When you talk question. about a Nabi, a Nabi, and a Rasul, right? It does not mean they're two different things. But those are referencing to the different tasks given. Different tasks given. With the message, okay. the, Nebi, the Nebis don't. How will right? you finish? The, 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 the prophets do not come with the law, with the Sharia. But the messengers do, the the Rasuls do, correct? I'll let you finish. So if you're, because you just identified the distinction there, how now, even though there's a different task, there's a distinct task, still the Rasul qualifies as a Nebi, but he has a little bit more responsibility. So there's a slight distinction, as you just demonstrated. Now, when we see in the Quran that it mentions Messiah and Rasul, right? So I'm not saying, so it doesn't mean that messiahs aren't Razul or Razul, it's, there's a distinct task for the messiah that the Razul doesn't have. That's what I'm understanding from this. So my question to you again, based on the Quran, based on the Hadith, what was the purpose of al masi the messiah, when it's referring to Jesus as the messiah? Excellent. So from the Quran, from Sahih Ahadith, which includes a hadith of Sahaba, that's a hadith, we explain that Al Masih has the meaning of the one who's chosen, the one who's there to bring a message, and he has the reference of Anbiya, meaning a Nabi and a Masih is going to be the same responsibility. And from the hadith that I showed you now from Ibn Abi Shaykh. Say that again, Nabi and what? Nabi and Masih is going to be given the same responsibility. Oh, so he's on a, a level of a Nabi, not a. He, he is a Rasul as well. He okay. has the Injil revealed to him. Mm -hmm. But the fact that he's called Masih does not mean that he has a different job. It means that he was given a message, a Sharia, as other Anbiya were given. Anbiya that were not Rusul, that didn't get a full Risala, still had Sharia, right? Okay. Because we have a Hadith that shows Al, when you're saying Al Masih, it shows Al Masah, meaning all of those Masih, not just Isa ibn Maryam, they brought laws. Right? That is the answer. They brought laws to the people. That's it. From the Quran, from Sahih Hadith, I've given you your answer. Not from the Quran. You haven't given from me anything Quran, from the Quran. From Sahih Hadith. You get it from commentary. Because you, see, now you're trying to switch. In the no, I'm not. Debate, you're telling me you what you said gave Quran me. Quran and Hadith. Yeah, I did. I gave you from the Quran, and what is you the meaning? You didn't give me nothing from the Quran. What is the meaning of that word in the Quran? We understand it through the Hadith. But no, you called it the commentary. You didn't give me nothing from did, the Quran. Did you hear what I said right I, now? What, what verse did you quote did, from the Quran? The, the verse that... What verse did you quote from the Quran okay. this whole time? Please, no, just tell me. Ali Imran, it's verse number 45. 45 right Thank here. you. You in didn't this, quote this. I, I you quoted the commentary okay. of, of so Al-Tabari quoting this me, person, quoting this explain. person, quoting this person. You didn't when quote the, the Quran. When the ayah says Al-Masih, mm -hmm. what does it mean? His name will be, right? Maria. His, his name will be Maria. Messiah. No, no. He says that he is named Al-Masih, right? So, 
his name, this is a laqab, it's not a name, it has a marifa, right? Does it, does it say his name would be Messiah or no? It, it says, Sammahu, that he is named with a laqab. You know what a laqab is? Don't know, but it's it says title. he's... Fine. So okay. he's, and then his name, mm -hmm. Isa ibn Maryam, is in the ayah, right? Very good. So when we look so at this ayah Messiah. from the Quran, mm -hmm. what does this ayah mean? We're not going to let you make your own interpretation. Don't we're need. Gonna read the Quran. At, we're going to look at the ahadith that explain the Quran. Mm. When Allah says, Aqeem salah establish the salah, mm. we don't just say, well, show me from the Quran, how do you pray Fajr? Mm. We look at the ahadith, we look at the Sahaba when they explain what does it mean? I understand. Aqeem I understand. So when we see the reference to Al Masih in the mm -hmm. Quran mm -hmm. and the explanation of that ayah in the from Ibn Abbas, then we understand the ayah yeah, from, from the commentary. So that is from the ayah uh -huh. because that's the meaning of the ayah as those that were there when the Quran was revealed right. that learned it directly from the Prophet no problem. explain. Okay. So your question in the past was show me from the Quran and Hadith. Mm. And now that I've shown you a clear, specific Hadith volume and page number that shows that it's not just Jesus who's called Al-Masih, now you're just trying to run from it. Run? I, I, run I'm, I'm run. actually dealing with yeah, it. You're not dealing you with wanted it. You're going to run. In a circle. I'm not going in a circle. You are. I'm actually examining it. it. So this this is what's okay. interesting. This I, 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 I'm going to let you finish. Thank you. And then I'm going to speak, and then we're going to be done. Respect, respect. respect. So will, will you also be able to come back after you pray? Uh, no, I gotta go. I fasted. Today. Okay, no, no problem, on. no problem. So you didn't quote a verse from the Quran until now, when I press you to to quote the verse. You didn't quote the verse the entire time. Did you you quoted. I've watched the video. I, I the video all the, yeah, the of course. No, no, no. I'm talking about right here in our conversation. In right you now. Didn't, was, you didn't. You did. You didn't even quote the verse in the, in the you video. Finish. You I'll quoted out out Tabari who's quoting some uh, t uh, uh, people who's giving their opinions. Yada yada yada. To you said it's hadith, authentic hadith. That's what you said about chain of narration. You didn't quote a single Quran verse until we just looked at chapter 3, verse 45. Now we finally got to it. So when you say that the Quran is not supposed to give this detail, it's not, the Quran doesn't work like that. It doesn't give this detailed explanation. I want to read something for you from the Quran. Neil, can, can you have me something? Let me get a Quran real quick. This is chapter 12, verse 111. Because you said that the Quran is not supposed to, let me let me talk please. Go ahead. You said that the Quran is not supposed to give the details and the explanations, but you need to go to the tafsir, the commentary of men who will give you the interpretation and the explanation. Okay, so let's see if the Quran agrees with you on that. This is chapter 12. Let me get here. Oh, I passed it up. Chapter 12, verse 111. Slipping. I am. The wrong way, dude. Oh, this is oh, this is English. The wrong way. My bad. I, I was used to my uh, Arabic Quran. You didn't notice it was English? I, no, I got the. I, I was. I said I was used to the Arabic Quran. Right, Reads uh, this way. You, yeah, I was practicing it. Uh, what's his name? You was with me, right? Remember, I brought you the Arabic Quran. Yeah. Thank you. So that's what I was used to. All right, chapter twelve, verse one eleven. This is what it says. Let me get there really quick. I know. Uh, I'm letting him finish. I'm sorry. He's being. He's, he's being very. Uh, he's being very, very uh, awesome. Give me time. So. It's okay. It's okay. No, no, no. So this is what chapter 12, verse 111 says in the Quran. So the Sheikh said it's not supposed to give details. You're not supposed to get the explanation from the Quran. It doesn't give you the full explanation. This is what the Quran says. It says this. Uh, in their stories. There is truly a lesson for people of reason. The message, this message, talking about the Quran, this message cannot be a fabrication. Rather, it is a confirmation of the previous scriptures. Good. So, comma, a detailed explanation of all things. All things. Not some things. Let's keep going. A guide and a mercy. Of, of for the people of faith. Yeah. Right. No, I'm, I'm not done. Go ahead, go ahead. You go ahead. said that the Quran is not supposed to give these details and these explanations, you. but you need to go outside the Quran to tell you what Messiah means from Ibn Abbas, from al tabari who's quoting this person, who's quoting this person, who's quoting this person, and there it is, uh, uh, evidence-based argument, right? I got you. Let's go ahead. I, I got another verse for you. Hold yeah. on. Can I respond to in, that in a one? second? Because you, because you, no, no you went on a uh, got your go monologue. Ahead. I just want to give you your monologue. Thank you so much. Chapter 41, verse number 3. No, I'm going, actually going to it. I said 41, verse 3. I'm going the right let way this him, time. Let him, let him focus. So this is what it says. 
Uh, I'll start at verse uh, verse one to get the context. Uh, it says Hamim. Verse two says, "This is a revelation from the Most Compassionate, Most Merciful." Talking about the Quran, we all agree. Beautiful. It says, "A book whose verses are explained uh, are perfectly explained. Uh -huh. A Quran in Arabic for people who know." So the Quran. Explained by. Uh, it oh. says, uh, it is a book whose verses are perfectly explained, explained a Quran in Arabic for people who know. Exactly. No, it says a Quran in Arabic for people who know. It doesn't say anything let about me, people who know explaining the Quran. Explain it, huh? So, you don't mind. Yeah, please, where does it say that the people excellent, explain excellent, the Quran? Excellent, excellent. So, the, the problem is when you want to read the Quran with your mindset. Mm. When the Quran says it has tafsil, it mm. has details, mm. right? It also tells you that Allah revealed the Quran and with it Al-Hikmah. Mm -hmm. What is Al-Hikmah? Wisdom. That wisdom mm -hmm. as it's explained. Allah says, Allah wa Rasulihi. Obey Allah and His Messenger. No problem. Obeying Allah is the Quran. Here, even in the verse you read, a Quran in Arabic. Billahu al-Arabiya Quran al Arabiya. What does it mean? It means we look at the linguistics of the Arabic language as well. That's why Allah is saying that, right? So it's when revealed in Allah, Arabic. Exactly. When mm -hmm. Allah says it has the tafsil, it means Allah gives the hukam for all the things, like how do you live, how do you do that, right? But Allah says with it that if they don't know, then go to you, O Messenger. Mm. Right? But you skip those ayat. No, right? I, I didn't. Okay. I just so, read these ones so that say you, it's perfectly explained. When you, yes. So, so I guess you, it's not. Perfectly, it is perfectly explained. Is it? It is. Okay, go Because ahead. when you don't know, when you have a dispute, what does Allah tell you? They have to make you the judge, O Prophet Muhammad mm -hmm. right? Fine. And it says, when you don't know, About? then go anything. Mm. If you don't know, يَسَلُ ahlu dhikr. What does that mean? As those that have that knowledge. Mm. Right, that's the Quran. So that means the hukam al masih is there in the Quran. If you understood the Quran like the Sahaba who understood the language, you would understand what that means. Mm. But because today we do not, then what happens is instead of letting Avery put his mindset in it, we go to those who know. And that's from the Quran itself. Ah. Ahlul Dhikr, those the people of knowledge, like Ibn Abbas, who got it from the Prophet ah. and from the hadith, which I showed you from the Prophet but himself. But not the Quran. The Quran but not tells the Quran. you that it has those details. It doesn't tell you it's a dictionary. It doesn't tell you that it's going to teach it you how to make all an things. egg. Let me finish, right? Okay. But you don't understand all what all things mean. Oh, right? all things doesn't mean all. all. Yeah, of course. Let me explain it to you, right? This is your ignorance. Well, sure. That you don't understand. It's a detailed explanation detailed of all explanation things. Detailed explanation of all those things that you need in life. Right? It does it say but, that? But it does. Where? Because, let me explain no, it No, no, quote the verse. Let me, let me explain it to you. I will quote the verse to you, right? When Allah, when you take an ayah, uh -huh. you have to look at other ayat. Right? Uh -huh. When Allah says, uh -huh. What does it mean? No, go, go ahead. Go tell ahead. Me. No, I, I yeah. don't understand Arabic. So so it is, this Quran uh -huh. is a guidance for the people of taqwa. Sure. So that means what is the details being given? That of guidance. No, no, no. Yeah. Where does it say that it's a detailed based on the guidance? Where does it Hudan, say that? Re you, so you, Retranslate you can, it. It, this Quran is revealed as a guidance for the people of Taqwa. No right? problem. Excellent. So is it so, a detailed explanation of all things or only a detailed explanation of all things concerning guidance? All things, if you look at the ayah, what is the purpose of the Quran? Uh -huh. It is not revealed to give you details on how to use an iPhone. Where does it right? say that at? <laughs> I just gave you the ayah. That no, what you, was the point of the Quran? It is revealed as hudan lil muttaqeen, not as a detailed explanation of how to use a microwave. Wait, wait, you're, one second. No, no, you're, you're, I'm being, I'm being fair to you. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not going to go I'm there. I'm speaking now. Oh, yeah, go ahead. I'm Sorry. Speaking. Yeah, yeah, go right. ahead. You're right. When Allah says that this is the detailed explanation, you have to understand what is the message. And Allah in the Quran explains it, that the Quran was revealed as a guidance for the people of taqwa. So, so all things and Allah don't says in the Quran then, mm -hmm. that if there is something in the Quran that you don't understand, not that it's not there in understanding, if you understood the word Masih properly, you wouldn't have to. Those, those Sahaba, they understood the Arabic language, but today, that's why it says in, in the Arabic language, you know, clear Arabic, mm -hmm. right? So when you don't, then the Quran tells you, go and ask the people of knowledge. Thank you. So in making an understanding for us to implement today mm -hmm. of all the things that are in the Quran, uh -huh. we use a hadith, we use a qual of sahaba, mm -hmm. we use a qual of tabi'in. So the Quran's insufficient, These I get are, it. It is not insufficient. Yes. When you have, this is again your ignorance. I'm sorry, Uthman, let, but let, it, let, it let says a detailed explanation of right. everything, Which but you're now you trying to point it out. So look, here's, right. no, here's no, my no, thing. No, it said that its verses are explained you, perfectly 
in detail of in all Arabic things. Language. What yes, does that sure. mean? So you that means that diet, no, no right? problem. No, so the mean? Arab, so example, the Arabic Quran is explained in detail no, of me, all things. Let me ask you can't, you can't. Let me ask you, uh, so let, you let know, me ask you, Avery. What does Naziat mean? I don't know. What does that mean? You don't know, right? I don't know. It's a, I don't it's know. It's a verse in the Quran. Right? Uh -huh. Now the meaning is there, but you don't know. So how will you know? By studying the Arabic. Okay. Who's going to explain the Arabic to you? Uh, if I can learn Arabic myself and understand what the word is. The word Naziat is cannot be found in the Arabic language. Really? What Just is it? By studying All right. So what, what does it mean? First thing you understand now. You're so the Quran. No, 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 no. no, me, no I, look, I don't know no, Arabic. I'm not an Arabic speaker. Yeah, exactly. Does the Quran tell you what it means? It, it tell does. me. If you Where? know the meaning of the word from the Quran, so where does it tell let me? me? Let me explain it to you. One naziat comes from naza, right? Is from that in the Quran? It, it, it's the root of the word. But you told me this. I can't find this. <laughs> this is ignorant. This is no, no, no. This is, this is ignorant, no. I'm, right? I'm so listening. You said the detailed there, explanation right? of everything. If you know the meaning of the word naziat, uh -huh. gharfa, or all of those, you will know it. But you will not get it from just picking up an Arabic dictionary. So what about the Quran? So when we go, the Quran already has the meaning of the word, but you okay. don't know the word. Fine. So when you want to understand, because you don't speak Arabic, you don't know Fusha Arabic, Quranic Arabic, then instead of making up your own meaning, the Quran tells you, go ask the people of knowledge, Ahlul Dhikr. And those Ahlul Dhikr, like the Sahaba who were there when the Quran was revealed, they explain the context of the ayat. Not that no. the Quran doesn't have it there, mm. it's that we don't know. The Quran doesn't say, oh, for example, how to use a microwave, right? Wait, so the does the Quran tell me what that word is? is? The Quran does in the word itself. So what, so show me that. Can you just show me that real quick? <laughs> just break it down for me from the Quran verses. Are you trying to get the answer? You want to accept he it? doesn't have it. No, I, we're, we're building. I'm learning. He comes with a condition. If he answers your questions, you have to accept Because no, if he's saying, because I asked, does the Quran tell me what this word is? That's my question. Does the Quran tell me? You said yes, right? You said yes, right? I got you. Hold on. Let me show you. Because according to him, the Quran is only a detailed explanation of some things, just the things concerning the guidance. That. I did not. You said concerning the what guidance. What I said is the Quran tells you itself. This is the guidance. That's the point of the Quran. So? so the Quran, when it says it has explanation for details of all things, it has to do with the message of the Quran. For you to come out and say, you said the guidance. That, yeah, that is the message. The Hudal is the entire Quran is the not message. a guidance? Of course it is. Thank you. So, so it's the whole Quran. So that is, is the Quran, right? Thank you. Meaning that if you're going to say, then why doesn't the Quran give you a dictionary explanation of each word? Then that's your ignorance. No, right? if it's now, not detailed, that's the, the Quran's lacking of information. It is not. If you knew the word and understood it, then we would understand it. But when you don't know, then the Quran gives you the solution. Go and ask the people of knowledge. So when the Quran tells you that obey Allah and His Messenger, Allah has revealed the Quran and the Hikmah. So that is the Ahadith. When the Quran tells you that if you don't know, if you don't know, if you don't understand the word Masih, then go and ask the people of knowledge. That is the details. Right not there. from the Quran, though. Again, it's their understanding, you, 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 their interpretation. You, 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 you it's not me? interpretation. It's a hadith. Okay, but look, understand. Look, look. Right. My, here's so my question: Because here, the Quran you doesn't. Want the ayah or you don't want the ayah? No, I, I, I do. But here's the, just, just, just to respond quickly to that point, just really quick, because I do want to see. The last thing I'm gonna listen. All right, for sure. I just want to. I do want to see what you're gonna bring. But the Quran doesn't. Just like you admit it, the Quran doesn't tell you what the Messiah is. It doesn't give you the meaning of the Messiah. You have to rely on interpretation from people who have an understanding, from people who give this interpretation and study this and they're giving their what they think it means. It, the Quran doesn't tell you. However, if the whole book, you just said that the Quran itself is a guidance. All of it. All of it. So that you cannot say, oh, that there's certain parts of the Quran that it gives that it's supposed to give detail on, but other parts it doesn't have to. Because you said the whole Quran is a guidance. Mean, so that means that the, when it says it's a detailed explanation of all things, yeah. if you mean all things concerning the guidance, yes. and guidance is the Quran itself, yes. then all things includes the Quran. So whatever the Quran talks about, I'll be fair to you. I won't I won't say that I'll expect it to tell me how to use a microwave. Good. But whatever the Quran talks about, Good. it needs to be detailed and explained perfectly as it says it is. Let me explain something to you, okay? If you told me, go up here and take a left, right? If you told me, go up straight, take a left, you gave me the exact directions to go. But tomorrow, if I don't understand what left is, if I don't understand that word, and I ask this brother, yo, this guy told me take a left, and he tells you left is that way. Does that mean your directions were lacking or was my understanding lacking? 
I'll let you finish. Okay. So here, that is the question. Well, well, well he does, he does the same to me. So please, please when pay attention, pay attention, when John. Allah no, because when, when I do the same thing, he was, I'll let you finish. So. When Allah says Al Masih, when He says Rusul, mm -hmm. when He says Anbiya, mm -hmm. the Sahaba who understood the language properly, they understood that meaning. But today, Avery doesn't know Arabic and he wants to put his own interpretation into the Quran. Oh, so there, Allah then solves that problem as well. He says, if you don't know, ask the people of knowledge. If you knew the language, like the Sahaba who heard it in the clear Arabic language, that's why the ayah mentions that, then then you would have understood the message just from the ayah. Really? Yes. You sure? Masih, Ibn Abbas, Rasulullah Sallallahu many tafsir he makes of the of the word itself, Walaf Dualin, for example. But, many tafsir, but again. Many, yeah, of course. Not the Quran. <laughs> this is your ignorance, you don't it's understand. It's not my ignorance. When, when I'm listening Quran, to you, Uthman. If you, if you say left, right, you gave the message, you gave the direction. But when I don't understand what the word left really means, and I ask somebody, and he tells me left in the English language means to turn this way, that doesn't mean you were lacking. That doesn't mean that the message was incomplete. That means I didn't understand the word, and he who speaks the language correctly was able to explain it to me because of my ignorance. No problem. Thank you very much. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Have, have, no, no, yeah, yeah, have a good day. No, have a good day. Have, can we shake it? Come on. Come on. Uh, I gotta be convinced Muhammad's a uh, prophet. I, I, yeah, yeah, I got. I, I got to be convinced. Yes, yeah, so I'll, I'll keep coming. I'll keep coming. But, 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 real, real quick, let's listen to this really quick. So notice how the 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 reliance is on the the Sahaba, the um, the uh, companions, the uh, top seers, the commentary. He didn't quote a, ver a single verse until I brought, I said, you never quoted a verse, Ma. He never brought a verse until I pushed him to bring the verse. And so now we're quoting 345. It says that Jesus' name will be Messiah, but the Quran doesn't say why. It doesn't tell us what that means. Oh, you got to get the understanding from the people of knowledge. But the Quran says that it's a detailed explanation of everything. That its verses are explained perfectly in the Arabic. So you mean to tell me that in this Arabic, I read this, I see, oh, Jesus is called the Messiah. Why? Oh, you got to go to the top. You got to go outside the Quran to find that out. Really? I got to go ask somebody who, who has an interpretation why the Quran says it? I thought it's detailed perfectly. And then their interpretations vary, depending on who you ask. Yes. Uh, so I, I've seen that, that the Messi means traveler. I've seen that Messiah means a uh, chosen one. I've seen that it means rub. I've seen it means touch. Uh, uh, so Ibn, Ibn Kathir says Jesus is called the Messiah because when he touched someone, they were healed. He took away their sicknesses. That's what Ibn Kathir says. That's different from what we heard from Ibn Abbas. That's different from what we heard from uh, Qutbi and the people that Al-Tabar recorded who quoted this person, that quoted that person, and quoted so-and-so, who quoted so-and-so. I'm confused. Y'all help me out. That's a cut. Perfect. Perfect.